You're watching Make This, episode number five. Let's get making! Hey guys, welcome to Make This. If this is your first time here, my name is Kara. and I'm the creator of Never Skip Brunch. So today we're doing a DIY that's kind of short and sweet, but it's really cute. We are going to zazz up our phone charger with some yarn. Not only is it gonna be super adorable with pops of color and way cuter than it is already, it's also a super easy way to help your charger not to get tangled. Okay, before we get started, go hit that red subscribe button below. You have to stay up to date with the rest of this series because if you like this, you're gonna love the rest of this season. So hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all the new episodes as well as all my other great ideas. We're doing a phone charger today, but you can do this with headphones, your computer charger, basically any cord in your life, but it helps it not to get tangled up and it is going to be distinctly yours because it's gonna be bright and colorful and cute. Also included in this episode is how to tie a magical knot that's going to help you change colors seamlessly. Okay, let's talk about what you're gonna need. So first things first, you obviously need your charger and or headphones and or computer charger. Then you're gonna need some embroidery thread. Overall, it took me about three of these guys. I used five different colors and I didn't really use up any one of them. So maybe two to three of these total for your whole um, phone charger cord, probably more for your laptop or headphones cord. And I'm also gonna be using some fabric adhesive just kind of periodically to make sure my string is really secure because you don't want this unwinding and it's gonna help the embroidery thread stick to itself and stay really secure onto my charger um, because I want this to be permanent and not just decorative. And then finally, this is optional, but you can get some washi tape. I think that's how you say it. I've actually never said that word out loud before, so washi tape, if that's correct. Um, and this we're just gonna use to kind of spice up our charging block and the ends of the charger. So I kind of went with gold and white because you know I love some glimmer. Um, so this is optional, but encouraged. Then you need some scissors, sharp or fabric scissors. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so to get started, I'm just kind of organizing my bundles and kind of thinking about the order that I want them to go in. And you can totally do this as you go, but I'm trying to kind of establish a pattern and figure out what I want it to look like. So it doesn't really matter which end you start on. I'm starting on the little USB boxy end and you just wanna tie your string on at the very, very beginning of your cord. So right after the box, and I'm gonna give this a triple knot just in case. So now I'm just gonna take the little tail and kind of fold it down and I'm actually gonna wrap around this tail instead of cutting it off because that's gonna make sure my knot is good and tight. If you want, you can use a little bit of your adhesive to secure, this is a mess. So I have this little like toothpick situation and I'm just going to apply some of the fabric adhesive down my cord and then kind of stick that tail down so that it's kind of attached to my cord and it's gonna be easy to wrap. If you don't wanna use fabric adhesive, you can also use hot glue. Um, it just seems to be a little messier because there's all the strings. Um, so I like fabric adhesive a little bit better, but hot glue is totally an option. The only other problem is you don't want your glue gun to be too hot because if you melt this plastic on your cord, you've now compromised your electronic and it could catch fire. <laughs> Okay, so now that I have my tail glued down, I am just going to start wrapping. So this is really similar to the method we did with the tassel, um, the keychain wrap tassel, and you just wanna make sure you're wrapping it decently tight. To get it tight, you kinda hold it tight in your fingers and then you can just spin it around in your hand. So you wanna make sure that the string is kind of in a line one by one and that there's no gaps. So with the fabric adhesive, it's easiest to work in like one to two inch sections at a time so you don't have like a big gob of glue all down your cord and that way it doesn't dry before you get to it. It's easiest to just kind of run a little bead of glue down your cord 
and then wrap until you get to the end of the glue and then kind of run another bead. I'm kind of using my nails to push my string together as I wrap so that it's really tight and there's no gaps. Okay, so now I have about like two inches wrapped and I'm going to change colors. So now it's time to learn how to make our magic knot. I'm going to show you how to change threads. I have this cream colored thread and I want to add on some pink. What you're gonna do is make a loop with your thread. You're gonna twist it one time and then reach through and grab not the tail, but the other thread and create this loop. And this is a slip knot. You're gonna take your slip knot, that little loop you just made, and you are going to put it around your old thread. Then you wanna just pull both ends of the slip knot and you wanna pull it super tight. You're actually gonna hear a pop. Um, so you wanna pull it super, super tight. And once it's popped into place, you are good to go and you can cut off these little baby ends. And that is how to change colors. So now we have this tiny little knot. Okay, now you have a magic knot that is seamless and sleek. So now I'm just gonna continue wrapping. Y'all, this is a really good arm workout. My arms are feeling a little toned. It's probably because I haven't worked out in like an embarrassingly long time, but it's totally working. Now I'm gonna show you an alternate knot. So if you can't get that slip knot to work for you, um, this is another knot that you can use that also works. So you're gonna cut and leave yourself a tail and you're gonna take your new thread and lay your other color across it. Now I'm just gonna tie a knot with this yellow thread around my pink thread. So I'm gonna double knot right around my pink thread, tie it really tight so the knot stays small and then I'm gonna cut off that tail. Then I'm gonna do the same thing with the pink thread around the yellow thread. So I'm going to wrap my pink thread around my yellow thread, tie a double knot, then cut that tail off. So now we have like a little loop happening where this thread, my pink thread is tied onto my yellow thread, my yellow thread is tied onto my pink thread. You wanna just take each in your hand and then pull them together until the knots come together. So that's another way that you can um, change colors. Once you get to the end, you just want to tie it. You can wrap and create kind of a loop and then tie that onto the other string. Okay, so I just wrapped the outside of my block with washi tape. Mine is luckily like a really good width, so one piece kind of fit around the outside perfectly. But if you have some of that smaller tape, you might need to do a couple rows. Um, you just wanna make sure that there's no tape on the front and no tape back here where it's gonna interfere with the electricity because that would be bad, that's not what you want. This is what it looks like, kind of all zazzed up. Then I'm gonna take my washi tape and put some on the ends of my cord. So I'm just gonna cut a piece. Okay, then my last trick is to use some fray block. This is going to help seal all of the threads together and make sure that they don't come apart and they don't unravel. This is pretty liquid, so when you go to put it on, you can just kind of do it, squeeze a tiny bit, and it's gonna kind of diffuse throughout the threads and make sure that they stay together. It's especially important to put on your knots. So I am just actually gonna put this across my entire cord it dries clear and it dries decently fast.
Okay, so I'm just gonna set this aside to fully dry before I use it. So this is what my super cute charger looks like. It has a pop of color, it's all protected. It actually didn't take me that long to do and I love the way it turned out. It's easier to just roll up instead of stuff in my bag. So that is how you yarn bomb a charger. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to like it, not just emotionally, but give it a thumbs up down below. And then don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date with the rest of the series. And if this is your first episode, we are on episode five. So you have four others that you can binge watch. So go find this series. Season one is Yarn It, and there's a playlist with all of the other good ones so you can watch and make along with me. No, I'm laughing because everything is eventually going to be wireless, so this is going to be like a totally useless skill. <laughs>